Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I'm so glad you're here. This is a special power up collaboration with several other creators, and there will be links and playlists down in the description for you to follow. So, in this collaboration, you could possibly win $25, but you have to follow the rules. I'll tell you more about those later, but watch and listen for a special secret word that you're going to need to put down in the comments. Let's get started. Okay, so I took some time and I drew out my own version of a cutting board or a charcuterie board, whatever you want to call it. So I made one that's a bigger one. And then I made a smaller, skinnier one that can be used for decor or whatever. Um, actually, both of them, because I'm not going to make it so that you can use it. I'm not going to use specialty stuff. It's just going to be stain. And you'll see what I'm going to do with it. But I'm going to cut these out. And uh, then I'm going to have to sand, sand, sand to get all the edges nice. And then I'll show you what I'll do after that. After brushing off all that sawdust, I mixed up some stain. So it's actually antique wax and it's watered down with some black ink uh, chalk paint in there to make it darker. I wanted a more aged, uh, antiqued look on this and I just wanted it more dark so that when I put uh, lighter stuff up against it, it would just pop. Um, and I love the look of dark stain with, you know, a lighter stamp or just a lighter material over the top of it. It just looks really, really nice to me. So I'm staining both sides with the stain that I made up and touching up some spots that I missed, I guess, and just wiping it back and getting it all dried off. Those are the small boards. Now this is the big one. I did uh, five each. Um, one of each size is actually my pattern that I'm going to keep so that I can just keep tracing those out and making new ones as I go. I can do different sizes if I want to. These are all, the big ones are all the same size and the small ones are all the same size. I didn't vary these at all this time, but I'm sure that I will next time. So I've got this one covered as well, and as you can see, it comes out really dark. So it's a dark, dark brown, but it has hints of black in it. It's really, really cool. I really like playing with these different colors and seeing what I can come up with. So don't mind my messy table. I am busy creating and just full of uh, energy to create, and so it kind of gets messy <laughs> at times. Uh, so I found this really cool grater. This is a walnut or a... Um, uh, cinnamon grater I think they call it something like that got this at a local flea market and I love it the patina on it there's rust on it and it's just old looking oxidized and it's just so cool 
So I'm taking a little bit of white paint and going over the top of this small cutting board and I'm going to attach that really cute little grater over the top of this uh, small cutting board. So I'm just sanding down the board a little bit. I did the a light uh, white paint over it, just a dry, dry brush, and now I'm softening it up and the edges as well with my sandpaper. I'm taking E6000 and I'm going to attach this cute little grater to the top of this um, small cutting board. Now that that's attached, I'm going to take a little bit of jute twine and I'm going to wrap it around the top and the bottom over the little uh, metal loops that are on the that little grater and make it look like it's holding it on, but it really isn't. Um, and also it just makes it look really cool and um, I like the look of it. So I'm not even cutting it off, I'm just going to go right up the back of the board and I'm trying to crisscross as I go because I just like the look of that. And I'm going to glue the back, adding a little bit of Spanish moss in the top so that it sticks out, and a couple little sprigs of greenery in the top as well. And then I will go back in and glue those in, but there's that part done. That came out so cute. Of course, giving it a little bit of a haircut but I really love how this came out. It's just so simple and cute, and I would love to have this in my kitchen. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of a jute uh, twine hanger on the through the loop that I made in the top, and she's ready to sit, hang, or whatever you wanna do. Take a look at this, guys. Okay, we're going to switch over to the big cutting board this time and I have the same stain everything you saw me stain this the same as the small ones. I have this half a basket that I got for I don't know a buck or two uh, at a flea market or Goodwill or somewhere um, and I decided I wanted that on there. I love the two colors that play off each other here. So I'm going to use a little bit of twine to tie it on. I was trying to figure out how to get it attached. Uh, I thought of doing using a hook or a screw, but I didn't want to put any holes in the board in case I changed my mind. But I decided to go ahead and just tie it on with a piece of jute string. And that way I can take it off if I want. If I want to make it more permanent, I can. Um, you know, I'm just playing around here trying to figure out what I want to do with these boards. There's just so many things I feel like my mind is, is reeling with the different ideas that I have. So I'm just fixing it so that it is sitting flat and straight. And then I'm going to affix some more on there and just wrap some jute string around where I already tied it on but not to help it hold the basket just as just an added uh, accent to the cutting board. Um, I thought that would look really nice. So I wrapped that around and glued it. And I have this piece of uh, homespun black and tan material and I cut it down and frayed the edges a little bit and I'm going to glue it to the basket or up, up around the top so that it will stay. 
And I also want the, around where those little wooden beads are on the edge, I also want those sticking out because I like the colors of those as well. So I have those, uh, that glued down around those edges so that they, you can see them. So I just affixed a little piece of twine on there and now I'm going to show you uh, these wooden spoon, well I have a wooden spoon and two wooden forks that I got and I decided that I wanted to paint them. This actually I did a long time ago and for some reason I never put it up. I guess I just didn't do anything with it. So. Um, I decided to dig them out and show you what I did with them. So I just took some burgundy uh, chalk paint and painted them all burgundy and then I went ahead and grabbed my paintbrush with a little bit of black on it and distressed it with some black paint just around the edges just to make it look a little bit distressed and give it a little uh, primitive um, aged look. So I went ahead and did that to all three, the spoon and the two forks, all three of them. I made this uh, cute little rooster with my air dry clay and one of my molds and I'll put that a link to that down in the description as well from Amazon. And I affixed it to the spoon. Now I just dry brushed it a little bit with black, but I do go in later on and put it more darker black, and then I just dry brushed with the white over the top, and it makes it pop a lot more. So I just glued it together the way it is there, and there it is. And then I'm going to put it in the basket and use that as part of my decor with this cutting board. See what you guys think. So welcome to the Power Up Collab. This is a collaboration with several other creators and there are a few rules in order to win the $25 Amazon gift card. First what you need to do is watch all of the videos in the playlist and watch for the secret word to be said or shown on each video. Comment down in the, each video, comment the word that that video has given you and use it in a sentence however you're going to do it and then there will be a drawing by Sarah can DIY it her link to her channel will be down in my description along with Zaina's channel which is okay at home DIY make sure you go down and check out all the creators in the playlist below Watch for my secret word it's coming up okay back to creating this last cutting board is going to have a farm to table screen stencil on it. So this stencil on all the, uh, some of the parts there, it has a screen instead of just being open. So I'm going to use this on my cutting board. And I have it's sticky on the back, so I'm just sticking it down, but I'm also putting some painter's tape so that I have room to put my paint down. I can be a messy painter, so I just want to make sure I don't get a bunch of paint all over my cutting board. I'm using uh, white chalk paint to put my words down, and we'll see how it comes out. So it did get a little bit juicy, I guess, underneath there. I watered down my white paint because it was very dry but that's okay, it's definitely fixable. So first what I'm gonna do is wait till it dries and then I'm going to sand it down. And then I took a dry cloth that was just lightly, lightly damp and went over it and got some of the white 
powdery stuff off the board. I took a little bit of a damper rag and went across it again and it really is coming out very nicely now. Uh, it's cleaning up and looking more like what I want it to look like. So then I distressed the edges and I went ahead and used my sealer to seal it. Okay, so I'm ready to give you guys my special secret word. It's table router. So use that down in the comments in a sentence if you want to. And then go on to the next person in the playlist and do the same. Find their secret word and use it in their comments and so on and so forth. So I'm taking this little bit of kind of funny little ribbon I got from Dollar Tree and I'm wrapping it around the bottom of my farm to table cutting board and then there's a little bit of brown ribbon that I got from also Dollar Tree brand new and I'm putting that across there as well then I'm gonna go ahead and make a bow uh, for it too on the top and I felt like the words were a little bit too bright white so I added some of my antique wax to it to just dull it down some, darken it up, and I think it did a really good job. So there we go, there's my bow, and putting that on there, and then that is it guys. See what you think of the finished product. Well, what do you think guys? Do you like my projects today? My cutting boards? I really think that they all came out very cute myself. So make sure you check out my Etsy shop down in the description there is a link because I will have these up on my Etsy shop to purchase if you are interested. Don't forget to go down and check out the hosts of the Power Up collab and the playlist and look for those secret words. Thanks for watching and have a great day.